Hey, what's up students? Nathan here from Accounting University. In this video, I'm going to show you briefly how to calculate taxable income for businesses. It's going to be a basic example, so by the end of it, you'll know exactly how to calculate taxable income, what it is, and then, like I said, we'll go through an example. So let's take a look. All right, so first off, what is taxable income for businesses? Again, this is not going to be super complex. So really, honestly, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's the income that is subject to taxation. So when they report their income to the IRS or whatever regulating body it might be, that right there is the final amount that you're taxed on. And usually it's subject to a tax rate, depending on the business, right? If it's an LLC, corporation, sole proprietorship, or maybe you have your own business, right? You're just a freelancer that's an independent contractor. So there's a lot of different types of tax rates. We're not going to get into that, but I just want to show you more about what is actually taxable income and when taxable, right? It's like the income that is subject to that tax. So subject to whatever the tax rate might be, it depends on the bracket, right? So that is the income that is subject to taxation. Now, how is it calculated? Well, it's pretty simple. So you're just going to take the income that you generate, and I'm going to unbold this to make it a little smaller here. So it's whatever the income that you generate after subtracting all your expenses, right? All your expenses are subtracted, right? You take your revenue, you subtract all of your expenses, and you get down to your last number, which is the income, or they call it the income before tax. Then you multiply the tax rate to actually get your income tax, to get the number after that, which is net income. But I won't show you all of that. I'm just gonna show you a brief example here to get you down to what we call taxable income. So here's the example. I just went ahead and created a little spreadsheet for you. Let's go ahead and just, this is just a basic income statement, but you're gonna take your revenue and subtract your cost of goods sold. So from there, Go ahead and just, I'm going to do some little formulas here to get these numbers. Uh, hold on. Here. There we are. So two, 205000 Let's make sure this looks pretty good. We'll call your operating expenses. We'll call it $67,000. There we are. Now, after you subtract your operating expenses from your gross profit, right? This is now what we call your taxable income. It's the income that's subject to the taxation. So you go ahead and just subtract these numbers here, 205,000 minus the 67,000. And there you go. That's actually the income that is gonna be subject to the taxation. It's not your net income, because net income is after taxes, right? But this is the income that is subject to the taxation. Now, that is your final number there. 138,000 is your tax loan. If we go one step further, let's call your tax rate really simple. Let's call it 10%. So what we're gonna do here is we're just actually gonna multiply this number times the 10%. That's actually gonna be your income tax. And the last number, I'm sure you've heard of this, is gonna be your net income. So you take your income before income tax or your taxable income, right? And I'll just put that here so you kind of know what that's called. From there, you're gonna go ahead and subtract out your income tax to get your final number. And that's it. But again, net income is not what we're focusing on here. We're focusing on the number that is subject to the taxation. So that's about it. Really went through what is taxable income, how is it calculated, and I showed you a brief example on how to get to the right answer really quickly. So hopefully that was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.